everybody! Alright, today we are going to do a full face of makeup with just shadow scents. What? And there's a couple other tricks I have up my sleeve too with shadow scents. So, let's get started. I've got all of the shadows I'm going to be using on my face today. This should be fun. I had to take some notes so I remember what to use where. So I'm going to start with concealer. And I'm going to use candlelight and snow because I'm pale. Snow is our white shadow scent and candlelight is our very pale um, nude color. So for the concealer, I'm pretty much going to use my hand as my palette most of today. I'm just going to dab a glob on snow and another glob of candlelight. Okay. And then I'm going to use my little concealer brush to mix them together. And apply in a V shape. And then I'm just going to move a little bit here <laughs> for the acne. Alright, and we're just going to blend it in. Now, depending on your skin tone, there's so many colors you can choose from. Sandstone, pearl, there's mocha java, there's tan, there's garnet. Or if you're pale like me, you need some white concealer, which is snow. Okay. my child screaming downstairs. It's her Tarzan, you know. Okay. Conceal. Boop. Done. Now, we're going to do some eyelid primer. And I'm going to use Whisper Pink. It's almost white. You might not even be able to tell on this um, camera lighting. But it's a very, very pale pink. And I'm just going to prime my eyelids with this. That way they're all one shade when we go to put on shadow later. And you can prime. You can use your finger for any of this. Or a brush. Whatever your preference is. Okay. All primed up. Now let's highlight. Gosh, did I get sunburn? Okay, anyway, highlight. We're going to use Sandstone Pearl Shimmer because it has a nice shimmer to it, just like your typical highlighter would. Highlighter, is that what it's called? So for this, I'm going to take it off. Ooh, I'm running out of sandstone pearl shimmer. I'm going to take that out of the tube and use my highlighting brush. And I'm actually just going to... Um, actually, I'm just going to put my face and blend for me. So we're going to highlight the spots on your face you would normally highlight. <laughs> for me, I usually only highlight my upper cheekbones. And sometimes I'll highlight here, which I'll come back and do that later when I do my eyes. Um, okay. So sad, I'm almost out of this. And then we have to contour, of course, which I rarely contour my face, so if I totally screw this up, don't laugh at me. Um, I'm going to use Mocha Java. This is like a lighter brownish color. It's a matte color, so it's not going to be shiny. And hopefully it's not too dark. I'm really pale. So we're going to contour. Woo! Now for the shadow scent. Oh boy, I used way too much. There's 
this one. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Definitely a poops remover. Well, who knows? Maybe this will end up being okay. remember to take it off because clearly my spit didn't work which I should have known better okay so for the other side I'm gonna put it on the brush going to contour y'all I am too pale to be doing this Next, let's put on some blush. So for the blush, I'm going to use Pink Posy. Which is our beautiful pink shade. It almost looks like a blush color. And for this one, I'm just going to use my hand as the palette again because my look I'll put a big glob on my face and it will just stick there and then blush brush dab it on oops ooh yeah that's pretty and as you can see you really don't need a lot of this stuff Probably went too dark on the contour, but that's okay. So, see how much I have left? I probably should have used way less. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so late. I'm so weird. I don't know why you guys watch me doing these videos, but okay. Okay, shadow. I'm going to try something new. So, if this totally fails or bombs, I'm sorry. But, I'm going to try using purple um, to do a purple look on my face so let's see if this works i'm going to start with amethyst which is a really pretty purple color and i put and i'm just going to cover my lid with this color And of course, I'm not doing what I'm supposed to, looking down, I'm looking ahead of me in the mirror. Alright, and my other lid. So priming your eyelids helps the color go on um, consistently. And it doesn't wash, like, wash out with your skin tone underneath since those are more solid lighter colors I guess that's what primer is supposed to do huh okay amethyst now what shade should I we use mocha java shimmer as my transition and then we'll do a little bit of this deep plum for the contour if we don't mess it up so for my transition, we're going to use a nice fluffy brush. Am I supposed to do transition first or contour first? We're going to just do this low. I'm going to put it on my hand. 
the yarn. Missed my other video. Um, it was a good tutorial showing the application of shadow sets. Okay. This is Mocha Java Shimmer going in my crease and a little bit up with the transition. And then, for a contour, um, let's do another fluffy brush and deep plum. Whew, I'm usually scared of darker colors, so this should be Again, we're going to swatch it on my hand in a new clean spot. It's probably way too much. And dab a little bit on. Nice light swirls to blend. So if I wanted to go even darker with this, I could add another layer. The good thing about Shadow Sense is you can build it up. So if I really wanted this to be bold, I could add another layer. I'm actually going to go back over this to tone it down a little bit. And blend it more with my Mocha Java. There we go. I don't even know. I have bright light shining my face. Hopefully this doesn't look too crazy. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to highlight um, if I have a clean brush at this point I don't even know highlight with glacier glitter Woo! this is a nice white sparkly glitter and remember like I said for the glitters you're going to definitely want to pack this on your hand because the glitter could take off the other color if you put it with the brush. So it's a nice clear glittery color. And we're just going to put this on the lid for our very small highlight here. And then Let's use sandstone pearl shimmer. I know I don't have much left, but we're going to use this for my inner eyelid and upper brow. Okay, I'm going to try to use this brush. I've turned it blue with another spearmint. I hope it doesn't transfer on. Thank you. 
Okay, we're highlighting. And I'm just gonna go back in with the brush and get a little bit of highlight in my inner. Next, liner. So for liner, we're gonna use the Onyx Black. Just do a little line, just line in. Again, my hand as a swatch. This is a very, very deep, rich color. So we're going to just put a little line all where the shadow sends. Stuff is so versatile. Versatile? Versatile? Ooh. And again, eyeliner is something I do not do regularly, so... Don't judge if this looks like total crap. <laughs> Need to wear more makeup, clearly. Okay, on to the other eye. Okay. And there's tons of cool color shadow shades you can use for eyeliner, which is really fun. So we have blues, greens. We actually have a whole set of shadows that are colors of the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. And so many people have made awesome face art, I guess you'd call it, with them. Um, a lot of people love to use shadow scents for Halloween, on their kids especially, because you can send your kid to school with shadow scents like, I don't know, like a puppy dog nose and whiskers and it won't even bother rubbing, bucking, like they won't come back with it all smudged up. Okay. There's my eyeliner. Now, let's get to the fun stuff. I forgot my mascara. Oh, this is going to be bad too because I forgot it on brush. Okay, let's try mascara with shadow scents. This should be fun. Okay, so I'm going to take an old wand. This is actually a wand, an old mascara wand I used to use on my eyebrows to comb them, to contain the craziness. But we're going to use this with the Onyx again for mascara say what so some people take this and literally go on their lashes like this with it um, or you can apply it to your mascara wand now you're not going to get the lift and length like you do with our mascaras at least I don't think you do but if you have naturally lighter eyelashes this is a great alternative if you're just looking to darken them up like look at that what I cannot believe that this stuff works as mascara and this is good for me because I do have naturally lighter lashes Oh my god, this is insane. I actually have never tried shadow scents as mascara, so pretty cool, huh? <laughs> okay, brows. Let's do the brows next. So I used to use Mocha Java on my eyebrows, and then now my hair, since I've been lightening it, it's been hard for me to find a good color that doesn't like turn my eyebrows really dark and look like clash with my white, silver, whatever hair color. 
So this is going to be a first. I'm going to try this, the new Peter Shimmer that we have. This might be a total bust, um, or it might work out. So this is like a pewtery color. It's probably not the best choice since it is a shimmer, but sometimes the shimmers, um, you can't really tell on your eyebrows. Um, I do love Shadow Sense as a brow filler, though. It's probably one of my favorite things to fill my brows with because it's easy and it um, blends nicely. So we're just going to fill in my hairless brow spot. You can either apply it like this with the brush and let it dry um, or you can apply it to a brow wand. I have the one where you have for like gel brows but this works nicely too. Um, some people will apply it and then blend it in with a brush like this. crazy how much more put together you look when your brows are filled in and you don't even realize it until you like do it. <laughs> okay, the other side. Um, if you do use this on your brows, you're going to make want to make sure you really like rub off the excess because or else you'll get a really thick clump and it probably won't be pretty. And you really don't need much of this stuff. Like I'm barely tapping this on my eyebrows right now. And it's actually turning out to be a pretty good match. Okay. Alright. And then we're just going to take the brush and blend it in a little bit to help fill. Alright. And then again, this stuff will dry and be smudge proof and budge proof. Okay, lips. Now, if you do end up using shadow scents on your lips, it's highly recommended to like sandwich it between uh, lip scents just so it stays on all day, as good as the lip scents does. Um, but it's cool because you can put it between uh, two layers of lip scents to seal it in and it will make a, a brand new shade. But, for this case, I don't have lip scents up here, so I'm going to use the bandana shimmer and just on my lips. Aww. Take a video! Apparently Callie's crawling backwards. Oh my god. Okay. So, bandana shimmer. I wish this stuff went on like lip scents because it's so dang smooth. Like I said, you're going to want to sandwich this between two. Oh, I should stop talking while I'm doing this. Two shades, two layers of lip scents. That actually doesn't look too shabby. Okay, bandana shimmer for the lips. And last but not least, this is crazy, but I'm going to try it because someone told me to. Um, apparently, you can use shadow scents to help fill in your roots. Now, my roots have really grown because, you know, it's quarantine. And it's probably harder for blondes to do this than, like, brunettes or people that are graying because <clears throat> if you have brown hair and you have grays coming through, you can easily take, like, a brown garnet color or another color and um, darken it back up. Now, to lighten, I don't know how well this is going to work. And, honestly, I don't know what the best color that matches my hair. So, um, let's try snow and sandstone pearl. We'll try those two. Okay, here we go. Let's try snow. Okay, so my roots. Oh boy. Oh my. Let me 
again. This stuff won't budge. Once it is on, even your hair. Ooh. Oh boy. Don't do that. Don't get it on the scalp. Oh my god, it's really working. <laughs> what? Let's try to mix adding a little sandstone pearl to give it that highlighted look. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. And there you have it. We have our full face with only shadow sense products. All right. Oh, 26 minutes. Thanks so much if you watched this whole thing. <laughs> Let me know what you think.